Hi Virgo, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my horoscope reading for you for the week of November the 2nd. All right, so in your sign, we've got Venus, Mars and Jupiter still, you know, we've had this situation for a little while now, but we do have Venus and Mars doing their dance together in exact conjunction uh, this week. So, and midweek. So uh, this is this is lovely for a lot of different areas of your life. Uh, love, of course, but, um, you know, also business. Let's not forget that Venus is the ruler of love and money. And, you know, Mars, is the uh, go get a passionate energy so from a, from a personal love for intimacy point of view then you've got like romance and passion coming together um, and with business then you got the Mars gives you the trigger to really go out after what you want and make it happen now the only you know advice that I can give you here is try to go with the flow a little bit because you know as a Virgo and these you know t connection in your sign um, textbook Virgo let's face it you're known to be a little critical um, but you know the reality of the situation is that you're only really critical with people that you love or admire or respect because you're trying to help them and never comes from a, a, a point of being vindictive or mean or nasty it comes from an open-hearted uh, wanting to help them but not everybody is willing or open to hearing what you've got to say um, so you know just try and sugarcoat it a little bit okay and it be a little bit diplomatic I mean I love that I, I love that sort of energy about um, the Virgo and where you come from in that that helpful sort of sense because um, guess what you know you're generally right and the information you get is generally very very good advice but it's the delivery and how you go about giving it to someone which can perhaps you this week particularly with this connection between Mars and Venus you want to take a leaf out of Libra's book and be a little bit diplomatic okay now Venus is going to make a move out of your sign at the end of this week and into the next sign into Libra it rules Libra so it's very comfortable here um, this is and this is going to be excellent for you with um, uh, money, uh, you know, as I said, Venus rules money and uh, love and money. So this in the second house is about money and possessions. So it's a great area uh, just to attract money. It's also, just so don't forget, she's a temptress. So, you know, she can tempt you to be impulsive as well. Mars is going to move in there the week after. Okay, so what connections that you make now and dealings and discussions that you're having perhaps around uh, work and finances, you want to just get as much information as you can. Uh, when Mars moves in, then, you know, Mars also can tempt you to make a sort of rash decisions. You want to make sure that any risks that you take uh, are calculated risks, which I'm sure you would, Virgo, okay? Um, but you know there's look there's always a bit of a plus and minus to everything isn't there and but right now I you know I like what's happening in your star chart and also on the love scene we've got um, romantic Neptune right opposite you in a favorable uh, trine with your ruling planet Mercury so you could certainly be having some discussions with uh, someone um, to do with love and intimacy and moving uh, your relationship to uh, the next stage okay it's a very powerful week to do with uh, love because we've also got the Sun in a sextile with Pluto and uh, uh, Pluto really it, the position Pluto is in, in your chart can really spark a uh, connection with somebody and take it and make it quite intense and take it to that next level so it's very nice all right I hope it is very nice for you love and luck to you I'm Jennifer Angel thanks for watching